This is 5-38 uh, problem. Here you have a motor that develops a power of 300 watts. It turns its connected pulley at 90 revolutions per minute. You want to determine the required diameters of the steel shafts at A and B. And the allowable shear stress is 85 megapascals. <clears throat> All right, first thing to do with this problem here is we're going to go ahead and define what the um, angular rotation or angular velocity would be here. So we can say omega is going to equal to 90 revolutions over a minute. We're going to convert that to um, radians per second. So I'll multiply that by 2 pi radians over 1 rev. Revolutions cancel out. Now we want to go to seconds. I put one minute here. 60 seconds down here. Revolutions cancel out. And um, we go ahead and run that value right there and let's see what we're going to get there. Uh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, so it's 180 pi divided by 60. That gives me a value of 3 pi radians per second. Okay, and again, that is only for shaft A. Now shaft B, let's talk a little bit about that because sometimes that's confusing. Obviously, shaft B is not going to be rotating as much. Um, a good way to think about that is you think about what the circumference of this shaft or of this uh, pulley would be. And we know that circumference is equal to 2 pi r so what we can do here is we can find out what the uh, diameter of this one would be. Uh, so we'll call it A. And that's going to give me 2 pi r. That's going to give me 2 pi times the radius, which is 60. We'll go ahead and leave it. And that's going to give me a value of 120 pi. All right, let's do B while we're at it. The reason I do this, I think it's going to make a lot more sense. I'm going to multiply by its raised by 150 and 300 pi. So if you think about it, every time this one goes all the way around, it's traveled 120 pi. But every time this one goes around, this shaft here has also traveled 120 pi. So what you can do here is, if you want to find out uh, what the ratio is, we can take 120 pi, which is this, how much it's going to turn when this one does one full revolution. We'll divide it by the full diameter of 300 pi. Pi's will cancel out here. And what that gives you is equivalent to two-fifths, which means every every revolution that this one makes, that this will make two-fifths. So that also means that the angular velocity will just be 3 pi radians times 2 fifths and that will give me 6 fifths pi. And again that's radians per second. I don't want to, hang on, I don't want to make this A, I want to make this B. Okay, so this is essential to understand that to get this problem correct. So these are our two um, angular velocities, and now all we have to do is go back and we know that um, power is equal to torque times our angular velocity. So we know that power over angular velocity is equal to torque. Scroll down and we'll figure those out real quick. So we can say the torque at A it's going to be the power, which is going to be 300 watts. There's no conversion to be made with that. We will divide that by the angular velocity, which we said was 3 pi. That will give us 31.83 newtons times meters. We'll do the same thing for B. Torque at B would equal to the 300 watts that's being applied. Divided by 6 fifths of that. 6 fifths of that will be, what, one point. 2 times pi. 
we do that, we'll get 79.58 Newton meters. Okay. Again, all we have to do, we know our shear max is going to equal to the torque times the maximum radius divided by J, polar moment inertia. Sorry, those look like V, that is an R. So we'll calculate what it'll be for A. Take our 31.83, multiply that by our radius at A, times pi, times radius at A to the fourth power, which is polar moment inertia. All right, so we're gonna, we need to simplify that. So we can say T max, it's going to equal to 31.83 over pi times the radius at a to the third power. And then can we not just say that ra to the third power is going to equal to 31.83 over pi times our shear max. Okay, in this problem you're given the shear max, so all we really do, got to do is plug this in. So RA is going to equal to 31.83 over pi. And our shear max was uh, 85 times 10 to the sixth. We'll take all that to the one third power. And when we do, we'll get RA is 0 0.0. 062, or double that and convert back to uh, millimeters, we will get 12.4 millimeter diameter shaft. Okay, and then really all we have to do is do basically the same thing for B. So RB, basically use the same equation, we'll just change our 31.83 to 79.58. 85 times 10 to the 6. Take all that to the 1 third power. And the radius at B would be 0 0.008. 415, I believe, which converts to 16.8 millimeters diameter. Okay, hope that helped. Best of luck.